John, now to the identity of a Santa Barbara doctor accused of exposing his patients to hepatitis C. One person already has the bloodborne virus and hundreds more are being told to get tested. News Channel 3's Victoria Sanchez joins us live. You've been following the story. We now know the name of the doctor and what type of medicine he practices. Right. This is a big development for people since we didn't know his name until today. Well, his name is Dr. Alan Tomaszewski and he's known for non-surgical orthopedics, which also includes injections. Dr. Alan Tomaszewski's office on Bath Street in Santa Barbara is shut down. Public health made him close the doors after they witnessed unsafe practices during procedures where patients were exposed to other patients' blood. It actually, it's blowing my mind right now. I can't, I can't believe it, honestly. Elizabeth Beckner is a phlebotomist. She says needles and doctor's offices have to be clean to make sure bloodborne illnesses don't spread. The number one rule of doctor is do no harm. So do, giving someone hepatitis would be considered harm. The investigation started with one person diagnosed with hepatitis C, but more than 350 other patients who got injection therapy are being asked to get their blood tested for hep C, B, and HIV. This is a very unusual case because there's been so many people that have been inflicted by this potential negligence of this doctor. Personal injury attorney Marcus Morales says if more people test positive for the viruses, this could turn into a class action lawsuit. It's hard to determine what the actual amount of damages would be, but it would be, you know, in my estimation, in the millions. Tomaszewski practiced in Santa Barbara for more than three decades. Hello, and thank you for calling the offices of Dr. Alan Tomaszewski. According to his website, he has a second office in Oregon. Hello, you have reached Ashland Regenerative and Sports Medicine, the office of Dr. Alan Tomaszewski. But no one answered either phone. Santa Barbara County Public Health, along with disease investigators from the CDC, are going through Dr. Tomaszewski's records for the past seven years. Additional letters asking patients to get tested should be mailed out in the coming weeks. That's going to be a lot of work going through seven years of records. It is. They've already been at the Public Health Department in Santa Barbara for about a week or so. There's an undetermined amount of time how long it's going to take for people to go through those records, see if they had any injections, because that is how they're thinking that this blood-borne virus, the hepatitis C, got spread from patient to patient, possibly. Right now, there is one case, and we'll just wait in the next few weeks to see if anybody else has been identified as having that virus. Okay, a real scare. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Tori. Thanks, Tori.